going on, guys? Black Leaf versus Up the Hill. We'll let some people get on before we get into it. I start breaking her down. Clean? Almost. No. I mean, it's cleany. Cleany. Yeah. It's, it's, it's had like three doinks rolled out of it. Hey. Um, got two people on right now. So what you're saying is we should use the stash, right? Definitely not. Uh, Definitely not what I'm saying. <laughs> it's cracking star dog guava. Top of the morning, brother. Doing good on this rainy day, sir. How about you? Yeah, doing good. Just a couple of things out of here. We both have fuck. We were both just discussing how we have plans tonight, and we're both hella ass sore that we don't get to watch UFC 300 live, but we'll be watching it tomorrow morning. Big fucking day today. Yo, no bong rips today, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, cool, dude. I just settled down a little bit. All right, leather bound. We yeah, we both lost sleep over that last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Six six one nine to six six four. What's up, brother? Ray Froles, there he is. Hey, I haven't responded to your DM yet. I seen that you sent me a DM, but yeah, you're uh, you're good to go, brother. Go ahead and run it up. Yeah, I'm super excited for four twenty, dude. Go spend some time on the East Coast and try to stay awake. Check out the vibe out there, too. Infantry Wagon. I like that name, dude. <laughs> what up, Adam and Paul? What's up, bro? All right. How many people we got on? 15. Oh, 15. It's, an early, it's an early one on a Saturday. We couldn't compete with fucking UFC 300 tonight, so got to end it early. Mm -hmm. We both got plans this afternoon. Unfortunately, those plans are not For watching sure. UFC 300, so. Yeah. For sure, rape rolls. Hey, if yeah. anybody ruins UFC 3, 300 for us between now and tomorrow morning, we will block you Your on every Patreon platform. gets fucking revoked, dude. You never get a tip again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a blacklist on the tip orders, dude. Yeah. We see your name pop up. Okay, that's what's up. Sure. Okay. Oh, you know what? Adam, he said, Adam should recognize my username for my email. Infantry Wagon. Uh, is that, uh, hey, it's Infantry Wagon. Is that, um, Josh Bryant? Dude writes the oh, novels. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't know. Infantry Wagon. I, I definitely recognize the name Infantry Wagon, but I'm not on the, uh, support as much. Damn, I don't know. I don't know that. I, it could be. I could say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me know about that just to see if I'm right. Uh, I'm going to go live real quick on Proper Doings. TV, Instagram. Yes, sir. That's him. <laughs> so the novel. <laughs> when, the, when the novel comes in, it's a fucking screenshot sent from someone. Yeah, I, let I, me know what to do I've, here. I've seen those things in, in our. I've seen those things in our group chat. Appreciate the fucking uh, the passion, bro. For real. Yeah, I've seen him in the group chat and looked at him. There's a couple times I've been like, "Yo, I, I can't read all this." Yeah. I, mean, I can't recall this right now. I just got it. Hey, I, will, I, will, I will read it all, bro. It might take me a couple of days, but I will fucking read it all. Um, hey, you were never blocked, bro. Nobody blocked you from sending No, if anything, you got you blocked our emails. That's what we were told. Our database showed that you blocked our emails. So <laughs> let's, we, yeah, we're unsubscribed or something. There was something that was not on us. And we got the fucking, we have the picture proof that that one uh, uh, collector email was sent. Exactly on time and open an hour before your order. Okay, we didn't. There's nothing funny going on there. Uh, I got Pereira, dude. I got I got Pereira over Hill. Dude. Hard to fucking say anything. But yeah, I mean, dude, like the, the the striking. You gotta understand, he's a sniper, bro. Hill has power, but he kind of throws caution to the wind and is and leaves himself open a lot. Um, Alex is gonna exploit that shit, dude. He's gonna end up getting K'd for sure. Um, let's see here, what's up, Munir? That is on LifeSoft today. They're the homies. That's what's up. Uh, you can't can't place bets based on friendships, though. But yeah, yeah, come on. This is a friendship aside competition. Yeah, man. straight up. <laughs> I just read Gaethje versus Holloway is canceled. No way. Don't fucking play with us. Like, yeah, nah, that's bullshit. That's guy, yeah, yeah. I'm over. I watched all the embeddeds. I watched the fucking weigh-in. Everything. Like, there's no way, dude. What happened? Yeah, nice fucking try. Rafe rolls. Never mind, dude. They said you can't use the name. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, how many people we got on? 25. It's a slow day today. Instagram, head over to YouTube if you're down. 
All right, a little nose test. All good, entry, mm. uh, infantry wagon. We're on the we're on the right page now, dude. Hopefully, it, you get all of them coming for going forward. So, is it just me or is this LCZ like a little gassier than I would expect something called LCZ to be? A little bit more full body than a fucking. Yeah, than a, it's definitely got some fucking some kick to it, like some petroleum in there or something. Hold on, this prism is way more candy smelling. Damn, that's this, a fucking nug right and, there. And so I don't know how the life sauce is smoking. But the up the hill exclusive, the shit that up the hill got. Might to be the jar. Smell it out of the jar. It's weird. It might be the jar. Yeah. What the fuck is the jar got terps for? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the up the hill exclusive, uh, Ken Lottie and um, Warheads, Galactic Warheads, was smoking insane. I'm actually blown away they didn't enter one of those. Um, but they must really think this LCZ is fire to enter that over one of those two strains. So I'm really excited to see how this is smoking. The prism we already figured out was fucking smoking. Um, so this will be interesting, dude. This will be interesting. All right, so we, we got to do this. All right, that card tonight about to be crazy, that's for sure. Uh, what's a life sauce strain? It's LCZ, which is a lemon cherry gelato versus Skittles. Um, Star Dog word, and I haven't tried either of them based on online research money on live sauce. I got 20 on live sauce. LCZ, thanks, Adam. Sean is the homie. He works overtime for us, and I appreciate everything he does for me. Pin that comment. Pin that comment for me, dude. Yeah, you guys don't even see the shit behind the scenes, dude. Yeah, dude. Sean is a fucking tireless worker, dude. I think it's on. I think it's an error on the Google card that somebody made a post about. Uh, after further research, I'm confident that it's still on. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude. There's no way that BMF fight is out of the card, and it's not headline news everywhere. Yeah, that would be because I mean, either of them could break an actual leg and probably still try to fight. So yeah, hundred percent. Um. Yeah, to me, that's the most interesting fight of the night, where it's like. It, 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 that, that's one that you can't like just oh for sure he's gonna whoop his ass like Max is a fucking sniper when it comes to his striking and Gaethje throws caution to the wind and fucking hits like a Brinks truck <laughs> LCZ in the Ken Lottie and I think Ken Lottie out smoked it personally can't wait to see which Maybe one he'll six, nine, four. <sighs> so Again, the one thing I'm noticing about this black leaf when breaking it up, I fucking love the texture. You know how sometimes you're breaking some shit up and you're just like, damn, this might fucking smoke. <laughs> starting off. Shout out, start off. And you said I'm starting off the chat today for the proper Z. No, you know what you guys are going to want now instead of the proper Z? I'm going to be honest. The Don fucking, Juan. The Don Juan. Yeah. Okay, it's not Juan. He said Juan. Juan. <laughs> right, you got to put the German in the back of it. Don Juan. And for those of you that don't know who Don Juan is, he is the absolute seducer of ladies. He is the fucking goat. He's a is a Spaniard from a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. Dedicated uh, his life to seducing women. Like the the story has it, he's rizzed over a thousand women. Rizzed. Um, <laughs> Dude, I feel like my daughters are here right now. You know, and shit. I'm like, what the fuck did you just? The say? master rizzer. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyways. We were just, okay, so here's the story. For like a year and a half or two years, we were trying to figure out what to name this once it got dialed in. And then we were just sitting there listening to the new fucking album, and Don, uh, Magic Don Juan came on, and we're like, all right, fuck it, we're going to name it that. So that's how it happened. Hey, look at Star Dog's comment. Look how he spelled it. Who are you? Don Juan, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes that was the best, dude. Uh, uh, I think Max will do better this time at 55. Looks like he actually bulked up properly for this one. Yeah, hey, look, I don't think Max did bad last time he was at 55. I think fucking Poirier just outstruck him. You know what I'm saying? Poirier, dude. Yeah, he's fucking Poirier. Dog. Yeah. Dude, you know? um, and so, like, but then that also begs the question, right? Because Poirier has said that Gaethje is the hardest hitter he's ever faced. So it's like, that's going to be interesting. Great Rolls says property and Don Juan for the chat. We're going to need more than $1.99 for gold. <laughs> no, He's trying to get a steal. Yeah, I don't know about the whole chat, bro, but you know what I'm saying? You guys tap in for sure. Hey, you got to love Mr. RJ. Hold on, let me read this. What's popping? Live from the hot tub in the middle of this rain. My body warm, but my head is freezing. Oh, I'm still getting high as fuck, though. <laughs> Down to be Don Magic Juan. <laughs> Magic Don Juan. Yeah. Magic Don Juan. Um, That's why that one pimp took that name, Bishop Don Juan. 
Yeah. Hey, guys, also, just while I'm grinding the fuck out of this weed, something to keep in mind. When you're trying weed, dude, so here's the thing. We have a good friend of ours who rolls, you know, dogs, oh, right? Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, so we're all hyped on the Don, the Don Juan, right? And so we gave him some nugs, rolls it up while I'm there, too. Passes it to me. I hit it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, that's the Don Juan. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And it was not that enjoyable, right? After we just smoked it on the live and it was blowing. He's like, well, fuck, I rolled up a big nug. So maybe because it was a big nug, it wasn't as enjoyable. So then to last night, we go roll up a big uh, big nug and it was smoking exactly the same amazing, right? So I don't know what it is. We're going to really try to do a deep dive into this on what about a roll can completely change the experience. I mean, we always, we, oh, where are we at? No, we're good. He just We already did a little bit. But we want to dive a little deeper into specifically how it's rolled, even when the pressure's the same. Because, I mean, I don't know. Like, so I would just the number one thing I think just to start off is make sure you're grinding your weed fine enough. Like, I, I, I think I'm guessing we got to figure out a little bit more. But I'm guessing that's the biggest <laughs> maker, honestly. I have a feeling. I have a, yeah, I have a feeling it's the, it's the grinding it fine enough. But I also have a feeling a lot of people aren't taking the time to. Well, not we'll get to that too, but. I don't know if you guys can see Adam's hands and like what he does and how he's doing this when he breaks up tree. He's the only person that I can give weed to and say, break this up and not have to say anything to anybody else. I give weed to and break it up. I have to sit there and tell them like, make sure you get every tiny stem, every water leaf, every, everything out of there. I don't know if a lot of people are just including all that and not getting everything and it's affecting the burn as well. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea, dude. I genuinely don't know guys, but there is a fucking, there's something going on and we're going to figure this shit out, dude. Cause here's the thing. The reason we don't drop rolls and we just try to teach all this shit is when we drop weed, we want it to be well represented in the marketplace by people that know how to roll and smoke it. So it's not like, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Cause like, for example, there's a lot of rollers, even that got the proper Z that were like, man, this is super un underwhelming. And then we'll smoke and be like, dude, I don't know. It doesn't look the same as when they smoked it. And like part of you wants to have that good customer service and shit and be like, Oh, I'm sorry you had that experience. But then the other part is like, Bro, get your fucking bars up, dog, because we're smoking it, and this shit is smoking. So it's like, I don't know. The reason we're such sticklers on this, especially when we're giving our opinion on the internet, is like, if you're going to go and give your opinion on the internet, make sure you have mastered the fucking rolling, breaking down, and grinding process, and the smoking process, because all of those things could fuck something up. Thoughts. Uh, Adam, how's the blood structure on the live sauce like? Uh, I haven't gotten to it yet. I will get to that as soon as I am there. Okay. Uh, he says, I'm going to put out that Juan on Juan S1 bag seed one day. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. From 619 to 664. Oh, dude. We're going to give you credit when we do that, dude. If we go Juan on Juan, all right, we're going to give you credit. Yeah. Last name, Mr. RJ44, last name Johnson. I guess I'm just Magic Johnson. <laughs> What's good? Here's to my music. Magic Lawn Jeremy Johnson. Sorry, I had to go there. I'm done. Oh, the now. crosses from this yeah. are going to be fun for sure. Uh, yo, Adam and Paul, the new Flower Mill 2.0 came out today. The ultra fine plate you got order for fourteen dollars has some has some is ridiculous, stupid small holes. I think you might need to try it again. We did that. We That's did what that. We had. Yeah, we did that. So we they did sent us the V2 with the new finest plate. Which might have been confusing because that's not the plate that was in the video we released. It was, that was the coarse grinder that was in the video we released. But we did have the ultra fine plate. We talked to them, got that confirmed. That was the case. Doesn't roll the same. Not as fine. Not working. Also, 55. Uh, so we just got in the fucking stash grinder. So uh, we're not going to roll a doink. But by the end of it, what we'll do is give it 100 twists and see if there's any metal shavings. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned until the end. <laughs> because uh, there is there is metal on metal contact with this. So I'm I got an eyebrow risen right now to see about that. Much respect, fellas, for for keeping it sterile from the hands to the not eating or sipping any flavored things to give it a proper review. Yeah, we I'm I'm dish soap with the hands right before, like some heavy duty dish soap. Fucks my hands up, but uh let's go down a little bit, Sean Chris. Thank you. Uh, do you guys feel like you need to leave the runs and gelato phase? Permanent marker is just gelato with a marker smell on it. I get zero biscotti attributes laughing my ass off. No. Yeah. No, no. no we don't discriminate against any strain. It can all be hit out of the park. Um, we leave the fucking the strain hating 
to the custies, bro, to be honest. Like, hey, Sean, do we not ship to Australia? Uh, mm-hmm. dude, yeah, uh, we should. I'm pretty sure Tina set up the I have heard customs in Australia is a bitch, though, but we, I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, you, yeah, Michael, like you, should be able, right yeah, you should be able to go ahead and, and buy some and just have them ship there. I mean, hopefully, like he said, hopefully there's no issues with your custom and it goes through, but. Um, maybe the rain and excess humidity affected the role that guy did on the Juan. Uh, no, because it wasn't raining that day. No, and they were inside, so no. I'm and not the gonna... ashes look different. Yeah, like so. Here's the thing: that. we don't give a fuck about the ash color. It's not like we look at the ashes and like, oh, that makes me feel so good because it's like perfect structure and white. It's just we notice it correlates with flavor and smoothness heavily, even within the same doink. If half the doink, like say you stuff the top part and it's not rolled quite the same, the first little chunk of that doink with the excess weed on the table, the first little chunk of that doink is going to kind of burn like shit. And then when it gets to the nicely rolled part, it'll just pitch and start burning, like tasting better and being smoother. And then it'll correlate with the white ashes. So yes. we're not just excited about white ash for the newer people that are just recently started following. Let's see here. Uh, what's the average chip size for a proper tip? 11 to 12. Uh, Michael said not That's anymore. Nice. So Michael, not anymore. Customs are fine now. Ask the pizza about the proper times pizza collab. He said he can't ship to Australia. Sadly. Uh, that, pizza yeah, that's good pizza. To. He may not it's be not able to. Yeah, yeah, we can. Hey, is that good pizza collab? Is that being shipped by us? Or no. Something? No, no that's that, by yeah, a good pizza. Good Which, pizza. If you want the good pizza tip, um, sign up on his email, uh, his email list and go to his website. We're not we won't be doing customer support on that. I mean, if you guys hit us up, we'll try to help you out, but hit him up about that because either people will do a collab with us and have us sell it to avoid the headache or they'll do it on their own to like, you know, gain the benefits of that. So he's going to be doing that. It smells so fucking good, dude. This LCZ. You getting the fucking, the terps out of the jar too still? The same fucking strain in here, dude. Hold on. I mean, it's just OG right. nug at the bottom. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Um, let's see here. Now nah, there's some gas in there when you squeeze that up. Yeah, there there's definitely something. Also missed the last few streams. YouTube, don't be getting any of my notifications. Shout out to Adam for putting it everywhere else. Fuck these social media fucks for trying to keep you guys down. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, fuck them, dude. My lady looks at me puzzled when I get rid of all the excess water leaves as such. I changed her entire perspective on what good smoking tree is. Now she's smoking proper. That's what's up, dude, Nick. Hey, one, here's the thing, dude. One Connoisseurs, we're, we're contagious, dog. Yeah. <laughs> one person at a time. We got 10 people in our friend group that smoke. We'll fucking change four of them over to be connoisseurs. I'm not going to read your name, but up the hill, life sauce. Some of the best smoke I've smoked <laughs> in a long time. So fire. <laughs> Uh, set us up, yeah, dude, they did. The dude. Name. I we gotta like, just stop saying the name. I feel like Michael Bisbee. Have you seen all the Michael Bisbee ones where they set him yes, up? Yes, those yes. are fucking hilarious. All right, we're not dude. we're not saying the names no more unless unless it's a super common. Then we'll say that. One hundred percent agree with everything you just said about it. Not gonna lie, some bone white ash and nice thick resin ring is very aesthetically pleasing. If you ask me, yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing, but it doesn't because it doesn't, of what it comes with. Yeah, because of the correlation that it has the good weed. It, it, but then, but then, like he said, also a lot of the people that have been growing white ash these days. Some of them aren't as enjoyable, so yeah, you can have the There's white ash. You can, yeah, you can have the white ash and the resin ring, and it still not be good. We just don't want to get people to get like caught up on. So the same way we started this whole thing, being like, don't get caught up on bag appeal and smoothness, and then two years later, nobody's flexing their turkey bags no more. They're flexing their ashes, and so like it kind of worked, but now it kind of kicked us in the ass where we're like, people are focused on ashes, which is just as bad as being focused on everything else. It should be about flavor and smoothness, and then you'll just start to notice a correlation. Uh, the one thing I didn't like that I read on the flour mill 2.0 page is that they made the mill more rigid and then they stated that it grinds your flour faster than the original. That could be an issue too. I say grind that motherfucker up like a Nutribullet. Who cares about the fucking trichome heads and how gentle it is? How is it smoke, smoke, getting dude. smoked regardless? Yeah, yeah, it's getting lit on fire and incinerated, bro. Like who gives a fuck? Now, if you're just letting it sit out after rolling it for hella long, maybe like grinding up the, the heads will be like, it'll add to oxidization and like, you know decompose faster or something like that but yeah. if you're rolling it up to just smoke it right there like who gives a fuck you know like that shit to me that's a bunch of like fugazi fugazi like <laughs> noise you know like it's just noise about like oh our grinder's more gentle on the weed like if it smokes worse because of that then fuck being gentle like take a weed whacker to that shit you ever come into Australia? I'm, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it, dude. Uh, there'd have to be a reason for us to go out there, but I'm, I'm, not, a, yeah, I'm not opposed to it. I want to read this one real quick. 
I find it so funny as so many people have the same flower as me, but it's smoking dark and nowhere near like the results that I'm getting. Thanks for the education as it's elevated my smoke. Big live from UK. Shout out UK. The boys in UK know what the fuck they're yeah, doing. They've been, uh, yeah, they know what the fuck they're doing, dude. Going on. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the prism, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is orange. Let's go. What's that? So uh, 70 now, 69 viewers. Yeah. Oh, uh, you not, missed, you missed it. Off so we can get back to <laughs> um, you ever come to Australia? Fuck no. You seen the spiders over there, dog? Hell no. You, you will never catch the me in Australia. Over there. I, I might go to New Zealand, but you will never see me in Australia. Plus, they got some fucked up minute. laws over Is there. Is New Zealand and Australia right next to each other? I'm assuming they got the same shit yeah, over there. No, they don't, dude. That's the thing. Australia's got the fucked up shit. New Zealand's, I've heard, is chiller. Unless somebody was just trying to trick me into landing in New Zealand. Because <laughs> they know I won't go to Australia. Plus, I'm like, after what happened in 2020 and 2021, dude, I don't want to get caught in Australia on the wrong week ever, bro. There's some straight communists over there. That shit was scary. <clears throat> Lock in some flavors to try. I'll see if you had some different things. And now I was trying to help the UK roll real doinks i'm sure they do dude I, Look, it's it, just like new york kind of i feel like uk's either got some real connoisseurs or some fucking weirdos throwing tobacco in their shit because nothing smokes and they need the mineral rich plant material in there from the tobacco to help it smoke you know yeah but uh it's one thing or the other dude for uk and new york and you know what's funny is uk and new york is probably my two favorite places that have the pickiest connoisseurs mm-hmm but they, they balance it out by having the weirdest motherfuckers in addition as well. Mm. You know? What's the prism? Um, what did he say? What did it's he, permanent marker times sure banger. It was a sure banger? Or? Sure banger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Permanent marker times sure banger. Pump calcium to get white ash, but don't be smoking. Exactly. I mean, and look, it could be calcium. It could be magnesium. Cool. Magnesium is the hottest thing that you can put in weed. It's the highest burning whitest burning element you can put in a feed so like i don't know what it is magnesium calcium some people say potassium i don't know what it is but there's a way to cheat it and achieve white ashes without any flavor and with pure harshness so like don't be fooled by that shit uh hopefully we leave this gelato runs bubble and move on to new things Hopefully, we just master the things we got and focus on who grows the best thing, regardless of genetics. This whole like, hey, yeah, who cares if it's Jack or, or, whatever, or, 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 or whatever it is, dude? As long as it's smoking, it's smoking. Yeah, because everybody's always gonna feel differently about like, like, like some people were bored as fuck of gas and were stoked when candy came. Now people, since candy was done so horribly by eighty percent of the market, now people are sick of candy. But I just think everybody's heavily mis or like undereducated on like. Like, bro, you, if you're sick of a strain, you don't have the right plug on that strain. You're just basically saying, I'm not plugged in, bro, and I can't find good candy. I can't find good gelato, so I'm going to hate on it because I can't get the right batches. Um, I, I say, like, I, I hate citrus strains. I'm not saying, can we get away from the citrus strains? I'm giving fucking shout outs to the people that are crushing the citrus strains. Like, I don't know. That, that shit irritates me, the whole, like, hating on a certain genetic. I'll always rant about that shit. Just had some pearls from Diamond Fire that smoked pretty good, but had the slight minerality. Everything from Diamond Fire I've had so far has a hot harshness to it, a, a heavy minerality to it, and not as much flavor. And if there is flavor, it's gone by the 50% mark, respectfully. Nice dude and shit, but every single thing I've had from him has that minerality and that harshness and that hotness. Um, so I'm down to try that again soon, but let me know if you guys experience something different. Um Big shout out to Heisenberg, but I'm not sure if it's the same cut. I'm not sure what we're referring to there. Uh, I'm always going to be an anti-grinder roller. Scissor trim until the day I die. I'd like to see how your doinks look, brother. Because I... Yeah, bro, I'm telling you right now, I have if not... If we sit down and roll a doink side by side, ours will smoke better with... The I haven't rolled, rolled a either. doink. Uh, okay, put it this way. I've never even rolled a doink with scissors. I rolled, uh, like, if anything, I'd take blunts and I didn't want it, like, didn't want my hands, like, to get super sticky rolling the blunt either. I'd just take scissors and, like, chop the weed up just a little bit Bro, and throw it in the blunt. Anyone that thinks scissors is better than a fine grind, 
anyone that thinks that, bro, pull up to Sacramento. We will roll any strain you want side by side, and ours will smoke better 10 out of 10 times. Promise you that every fucking time. The pearls is hella fresh batch. I'd say let it sit in the grill for a week. What pearls? Uh, he's talking about the Diamond Fire. Oh, the Diamond Fire. Okay. Yeah, the Diamond Fire, fire I had. I had it fresh, and then I, it sat a month, and then I still had it in the grove, and I was like, oh, let me try it again. Same shit. Adam, is the black leaf bud structure still better than the life sauce? I would say I do like the way it breaks down a little bit more. Than I will say rolling that, that, that rolling that, that is exactly what I look for. And I can tell by looking at this right here that this is just a little more plywoody. I will say I like the, the nose more on the life sauce, though. It's like a very full body, gassy fucking, like, it's, it just seems like it's going to be very substantial on the smoke, if I had to guess from the smell. Do we think that burner or jiggle will ring back out? What? Bring. You put the word. Bring back. Oh, okay. bring back out the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Should I hope I, somebody else I don't know. that's focused on smokeability brings back the cookies because the cookies don't need to be brought back unless it's by somebody that can actually get it to smoke. Like it's an amazing genetic, but when it's not smoking, just like candy, just like anything else, you know, it's just there's no point in fucking what is the point of bringing it back if it's not smoking, you know, just get it in the right hands and fuck yeah. The tiniest. Ultra one. Blaze is back, dude. Let's go. With the fucking 499. He said New York is all about that GABA. GRABA. Oh, GRABA. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. I had to tell what it. I had he to doesn't tell use leaf, guys. He doesn't know. Yeah, right. Give him a break. I had to tell a couple folks I was smoking with the other day that shit ain't going to my joint. Get that nick. Get in the bag. Yeah, bro. Grab, <laughs> grab a little fucking Zinachino. Get some African sugar in your in your upper decky and, oh, and leave shit. the leave the leaf alone. You know. It's cracking two times. He said, what's up, boys? I'm late on the way to the dispo to grab some new fear hey, booth drop. For super comments, throw it on the, uh, uh, like, replace our little fucking blue tip thing. Or I don't know if replace it or add it or whatever. I, 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 so if I were to replace it, I got to scroll all the way to the top. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. But like, so, they'll, they'll be highlighted like that. All right, so but. So, boys, I'm late on the way to the dispo to grab new fear booth drop. Okay. Hey, you know you're in a good spot recreationally when you could say I'm on the way to the dispo to grab this. To grab the new drop of anything. That's good shit. <laughs> um, the effects have a lot to do with it as well, though. What are we talking about? A lot to do with it. I don't care how something, how good something smokes. If it's going to be me anxiety, it's a no go. That's how I am with fucking um, citrus strains, and I agree with that in my personal life. But for this competition, I have to completely ignore all my thoughts about effect because other people love that effect and it doesn't give them anxiety. So my useless ass opinion on effect while, you know, maybe if I was talking to you personally, here's my music. Um, it would be valuable, but at scale on the show, it changes from person to person. And yeah. my opinion is I, completely irrelevant. I was just about to say that's another subjective thing, like liking a certain flavor, like just because something affects you a certain yeah. way doesn't mean it's going to affect him or I the same way. But it matters for our own personal head stash, that's for sure. I think it's because everybody has an endocannabinoid or cannabinoid system in them. And so it responds differently yeah. based on like what you have in your like system. Like edibles will literally throw me into a massive panic attack. Doesn't matter full spectrum, distal, doesn't matter rosin, doesn't matter. It'll give me a fucking panic. Like five milligrams will give me a panic panic attack. Other people could take a thousand milligrams and operate. So it's like just changes from person to person too much. How do you hate any citrus strains? I love the smell of them, bro. They just give me mad anxiety. I just fucking get so anxious. I feel like I'm gonna get raided every time I smoke some citrus <laughs> shit. I'm like looking out my window. He's in the and, doctor's office, dude, checking out their blinds. For real, my like, coming, setup, dude. dude. <laughs> I don't even want to write my name down in the fucking. On the waiting list, uh, gas can win for me every time. Life sauce got it in the bag. I'm not gonna lie, guys. If I this think life sauce smokes just like how it did on the Mids Busters episode, the Up the Hill episode, I think this will be a close one because that fucking black leaf was smoking. Yes, it was the other day, smoking. And I don't want you guys thinking we're biased at all because fair bias call out here. We're going on first smoke of the day. We just want to get this out there. Up front, we're going on first smoke of the day, April 30th, right? Black Leaf entered this. I was praying to fucking God it smoked because the last time we tried Black Leaf, it was the uh, Black Cherry, I think. Black Cherry. And that yeah. was not smoking. It was not. It was the first time we reviewed their stuff and it was not smoking. It was, so I was very nervous. And this was a fast track episode, so we didn't bring Black Leaf on. You know, he, he grabbed the last spot very confidently. 
And I was very nervous, and it fucking smoked, bro. I'm telling you right now, this shit smoked. So this is going to be a very close episode. I have to go see my in-laws right after this, and I'm going to be high out of my fucking mind because I'm sure this is going to go to the very last hit. I love both of your knowledge about smoking, but it's always discussed in two sentences. I would love separate videos about knowledge on how to smoke, roll, fix runs, and how to handle rings, et cetera. We can do that, but our knowledge, you're going to get the same content. Uh, I will say your rolling is different and better than mine. My rolling is different, but I mean, if we're talking about... For smokeability. Yeah, so, but if we're talking about, like, how to smoke, fix runs, how to handle oil rings, all that stuff, like, maybe the roll part, but everything else is going to be the same. Yeah, the other stuff, I think I'll just, like... I've just explained it so many times that I've gotten into a groove of articulating it. But when it comes to rolling it, like pay attention to him here, guys. Let's put the pressure on him real quick. Um, yeah, there's the something thing- OG about what he does, dude, where it's just like, shh, you know what I mean? It's 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 one motion, and he barely has to pack it. He just sturdies it up at the end, but it's already pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> Have you guys tried Doja Sweet Retreat? A long time ago, um, but I – I don't know if it was Doge's. That was good or is it a little fucking... No, it's perfect. All right, cool. I don't know if it was Doge's. Do you remember that? Um, Sweet Retreat. It sounds familiar. I actually still have a jar of it chilling on my desk. Do you? Yeah. What did, it, it's from like a year ago, though. Huh. Uh, but I got it from Fire Farmer. I don't know if it was Doge's. Oh, okay. Z-Pie from Boski Genetics is fire. Okay. Have you guys try Um, I found crowning my joints... Like like Mike and Jake Rolls helps with cherry burning slower. Instead of packing it, I just light and just lighting the top. What do you mean by crowning it? Like folding the paper over, up, oh, yeah. indenting it, making it look all cool. I don't know how that would help with the cherry, but I do like that. Like that's what we do when we travel with them. If we're about to smoke it, we just yeah. If I'm, yeah, I would never do this if I was putting this in a tube. Yeah, I would never do that. I would, exactly. I would crown it for sure and then put it in the tube. But these when we when you see us rolling, we're smoking them right away. So there's no need for us to do all that. Jack Terps give me crazy anxiety. I agree, huge anxiety as well. Some people love it. Can't even discuss it on the show. Um, any smoking batch of anything would be fire, in my opinion. A really good chem for skills. Times cam or could be lethal. Disgusting smelling cam make me come back and tell so yeah, no, I mean I agree. I don't even really like chem that much either, but if it's a fucking batch like that, I could smoke it for a month straight. It'll give me anxiety, but like just the pleasure of smoking it, I would almost do that for the anxiety if that makes sense, and then regret it right after. No. Uh, I'm not liking you, ears to my music says. I'm talking about generally like Certain strains are more uplifting, energetic, and creative, while others are more calming, relaxing. Um, I am sorry. I'm not brother. like you is what he means. I'm not like you. I'm talking about generally. Like yeah, well, generally, more- that's what I'm saying. The reason we can't bring it up. You, earlier, you were saying, like, it, it matters because if something makes me anxious, you know, stuff like that. I'm saying, like, I agree. I'm the same way. But we can't bring that up on the show because of the 91 people watching, 46 of them don't get anxious. And 45 of them do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just, what is the, what is the point of me giving my opinion on that, you know? It's, I almost cut down my garden wow. tripping on an edible. Yeah, it's, that's the type of shit I would do, you know? Jelena from Cadre smoking. That's it. That's out. Okay. Can't wait for the episode. One over due. Guess who's back? Seed Sniffer is back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Throwing up some watermelon Skittles here in Norway, dude. Shout out to the boys. Shout out to Black Blues, dude, to the whole vibe. Dude, shout out to Norway. Seat sniffer. That is, that is funny as fuck. Uh, oh. Everyone, pull your doink out and see how long it takes you to slap that like button. Bro, I wasn't serious. Use your finger to smash the like button. Infantry Wagon, thank you, bro. Wagon, let's get some likes in here, dude. I heard that helps with the algorithm. I know Instagram, bro. I don't know shit about YouTube. We just hopped on this because we're going to get deleted soon off Instagram, I'm sure. Um, if Greasy saves up enough money to fucking pay the people to, to delete us again. Yeah. All right. Shall we get this lit up? Yeah, let's fucking do it. All right. All right, Ben. Um, so we had blue is the life sauce. Okay. And this is the prism. Wow, that tastes really good. Have you dry hit this? Um. All right. 
Uh, Bro Cookies 25 and 8 commissioning. I'm sorry, the shit was on. First one was one of the Smike of the Day episodes brought Doja a batch of it from Michigan to show it was that. That's what's up. Jason is a fucking wizard with his hands. His outdoor is still smoking lethal. It's up there with some hard some hard hitters. They both have some cut and it comes out black with purple and yellow tracked out. Huh. If you can get a runs or a lance from Ridgeline, you somehow you get a guy's cut. Ridgeline. Um, I feel like I've tried Ridgeline have. before. Was it the uh, was it uh, or no? That was Green Ridge. Isn't Ridgeline your boy? No, I don't think so. Shit, I hope dude, not. Dude at the good, else, that'll be embarrassing. Dude at the good pizza thing in the wheelchair. Isn't that no? Ridge? No, no that's Murphy's Ridge. Murphy's yeah, Ridge. Shout okay. out Murphy's Ridge. Yeah, Murphy's Ridge. Yeah. Wheels. Super cool, dude. I don't know if Wheels is on here right now, but shout out. Um, in front of me, my first pack ever that got me in the game. First full one. Wow, this is lighting up nicely, bro. How's yours lighting up? Nice. I was reading a comment right now, so I had stopped for a second, but yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't really take a tasting hit there. That was a little baby hit. All right. When are you going to review Saint 773? Right here. So we're getting through the uh, we're getting through the um, the rec side of the bracket, and then uh, we're getting to the small batch right afterwards. Oh, nice. nice off the bat. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Dude. Nice <laughs> off the bat. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. All right. <laughs> I didn't mention that you have a hard time with editing past videos do you need help on the video editors on youtube channel if you feel free it'd be a pleasure to be part of the community <laughs> thank you uh, you know it's not so much that we have a hard time editing it's just like there's not enough hours in the day like finding the time yeah because the show is like 20 percent of what we do there's a whole other side of this that's not on film um, so it's just hard to find the time to edit, but if we get super swamped, I'll definitely make sure to hit you up. We'll get processed through stomach and liver. Yeah. I think Joe Rogan explained that best for everybody, dude. It turns into THC five yeah. or, or THC five and shit. Yeah. Five times more. Hydra energy. something, whatever. Yeah. I Smoking on that. black magic from wizard. Appreciate y'all. Super comments are still not working for me. I'll get it sorted to support ASAP, something with Apple ID link to another email. Hey, no problem, Chris, dude. Oh, I yeah. just appreciate the support, man, and you tuning in, dude. Yeah, we're just thinking maybe in like three years, the the, the live and the super comment thing could be another little stream, but it's not that serious, bro. I appreciate you. Gosh, I'm going to grab the party poppers and probably do it now. You're lucky, though. Goddamn, you can do that with them. puts out some fire. Yo, much nug love from Ohio. All right, so. It's cracking Ohio. Thoughts on this right away? I would say I wouldn't put it there so far with the Warheads or the Kemlotti. Little scratch, slight scratch. Um, flavor is strong, but not super strong. This is performing the exact same way that it just performed. Okay. It's performing again. I mean, look at that. Hold on. Let's take the, that shit. Looks like it's combusting too, though. Holy it shit. It is. It's combusting really well. Yeah, I would say the black lips combusting just a little bit better out the gate. Let's try to see if we can see if we can get them on there. Yeah, put them right. Hey guys, yeah, yeah, you guys kind of kind of can see that. Huh? So black lips combusting out the gate a little bit better. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch. Yep. Um. <laughs> initial thoughts: I would give it like an eight point eight on strength. I give it like an eight point nine on accuracy. And like an 8.9 on smoothness. Yeah. Uh, Eagle, really good. Eagle Torch, bro. Uh, a Mac. Little gas station, $4 one. Yeah. Unless you're me and you get fucking taxed for $12. Like, they, <laughs> but yeah, apparently they're like four bucks on Amazon. Right away, this um, is smooth for me. Black Leaf. Black Leaf is a little smoother for me. I would say flavor, very similar. I, if anything, I'd maybe give the edge slightly to uh, LCZ on this. But that's off memory, so we'll side by side it. No, I'm getting more flavor off of this. Yeah, it's like a more 
It's more substantial. It's a heavier flavor. It's more substantial. More, uh, yeah, exactly. <coughs> more full body flavor. <coughs> but you are right. <laughs> this one has like a little bit of a bite to it. Nothing too crazy right now, mm -hmm. but it's got a little bit of a bite to yeah, it. Yeah, and it didn't on the first hit, so I'm like, huh. But wow, dude, the fucking ass structure on this is And ridiculous. this one right here is fucking leaking for being like fucking three or four hits in. Wow. Yeah, the structure on that. We're getting some minerality for the black leaf again. Dude, the structure on yeah, that. Yeah, this is insane. I was looking in the TV seeing it, and I was like, yeah. holy shit. Um, yeah, the minerality is getting there again for me a little bit. Nothing, just like last time, nothing too overpowering nothing too crazy, or anything, yeah. but it's there. Um, here, side by side. I'm all reading the comments. Uh, we got to I mean, focus. So this this is going to be a close one, guys, so we're going to fall behind on these comments because we really got to focus. Sometimes when it's like a bigger discrepancy. Holy shit. Yeah. We can focus a little bit more on the comments, but this is, we got to make sure. We I'm sorry, but I wish every one of you guys were like right here so you guys could see what we're talking about in correlation. The structure on this is fucking mm -hmm. dumb, dude. Mm -hmm. So let's run through categories. Yeah. Flavor, actually hit them both. Or no, on this one, flavor strength. I would say... 8.9, 9.0, like right there yeah. on the edge, right flavor, there on the edge. Flavor purity. Purity, I'm only going to give an 8.7. And the reason why is because I do get that little bit of minerality. It's not too bothersome. I was thinking 8.8. Eight. You know, like yeah, it's it's not too bothersome, but if I'm talking about like being just pure transparent, yeah. like this is what I tasted, this is what I smell. Oof, um, there's there's I, I have that there. Um, smoothness nine in, in like the low nine. in the low to mid nine. I would say nine three. Yeah, low yeah. to mid nines. Um, yeah, accuracy, accuracy once again nine nine point one. It's accurate. Yeah, I'm tasting accurate. what I smell or what yeah. I was smelling. Yeah. So now let's go to this. Strength nine nine one nine two yeah I'd give it like I'd low it nine, nine, one, nine it's got a better strength of flavor so that's winning first round so far on strength strength so of flavor yeah purity I'm gonna give it. A solid nine. I was purity. literally thinking exactly a solid that. nine, yeah. no points, just a solid nine on purity. <laughs> and what about accuracy? It's accurate. I'm going to give it a nine again on yeah, accuracy. Yeah. It's accurate. So I would say it's winning in the flavor category, it's edging it out in the flavor category. It's no nitty. It's definitely losing. <laughs> <laughs> but it is losing in smoothness, yeah. I would say, for my first hits. Um, but that's interesting. So. Yeah, the smoothness is there's a bite to it, and the bite is getting worse. So here's the here's the question now. <laughs> question is I know the question and I already have my answer. Is, is the bite strong enough to override the W's in the flavor category? I'm gonna hit it one more time. You want some water? I got some right here. Okay. So while he hits that, I'm gonna answer the conversation that him and I have had in the only way that we really do this. Because there's going to be a debate in this subject, right? Of like, what's more important? Like, oh, well, I want the one that tastes more and I'll take the little bit of a bite to it. <laughs> um, or no, I don't want any bite. And we've both gone back and forth on this. And so basically the way we do it is at the end, it's like, if you could only take one of these, if I was passing these to you and you both hit them and it's like, you get to smoke the rest of one of these, which one are you reaching for? Whichever one you reach for, yeah, that's going to be and, it. And it tends to be the ones that's a smoothness. Though. Yeah, yeah, because there's a threshold. If it's just a little bite and the flavor is drastically outperforming, you're going to go flavor. You'll thug it out for if it. If the yeah. flavor is kind of close, but one's edging it out, <laughs> then you're going to go for the – and then the other one is just like a lot harsher, then you're going to go for the one – even if it has a slightly less flavor, but it, this, the harshness is significantly different, Yeah, then I'm going to go for the smoother one. Yeah. But I wanna, like it's just situation. I want to go for the one that's more, more enjoyable, and for me – Typically, the more enjoyable is the smoother one because I can sit there and smoke on it and enjoy it. And I'm not feeling like I'm dying or needing to reach for water or anything okay. like that. I'm just enjoying it. Yeah, I go mid to high eights on flavor for this across the across the categories. 
Um, I don't know if I would go nine necessarily in anything besides maybe accurate or yeah, I'd probably go high eights on everything. This I would go low nines to nine flat across all the flavor categories. Yeah. But I will say you get one more drink of the water. Smoothness getting worse. I would say also I'd say both. On both? Smoothness is getting worse? I, I believe so. I'm gonna have some water, reverse huh. the order real quick. Interesting. He said three for twelve ninety nine Paul discount. <laughs> If Paul drops the joint again, he's going to have to call his girl this time. I would have told him last time, but I missed the stream. <laughs> I won't say harshness, hey, I'll say hotness. Hey, that was that was a – I think that may be a one time that that's ever happened to my dog, and it's crazy that it happened on camera. I don't think I've ever done that. You have to understand in this game of being a tip collector too, like us and like other people, I can't tell you how many people are like, fuck, I broke a tip or I lost a tip or I did this or I did that. I've never broke a tip or lost a tip ever. Literally. I, I am so I OCD have. with my shit, dude. I That's have. why that happening was the fucking craziest shit ever. But that was funny, dude. I like it. Um, so, real quick. Yeah. It's very expansive. It's a little aggressive on the lungs, but I'm enjoying the flavor a lot more. I think, to be honest with you, bro. You're getting smooth? You're, you, you're getting harshness I got a, Like I said, I didn't get a harshness. I got a hotness. It's like a mineral hotness that I got. Huh. But I did reverse the order and hit that last, so I'm down to hit it again. But I got a little bit of hotness from it. Yeah, that's shit. still not as harsh as this. Yeah, this one, I didn't have any problem with it. I don't right think now. either of them are necessarily harsh. This just has like a little well, bite that would bring it to the mid-8. I think we need to, let's you know? clarify that too. And when you it's hear not us, black and white. Yeah, when you hear us say harsh, dude, we're the pickiest motherfuckers when it comes to smooth, soft, pillowy smoke. So something that we may say, oh, that's a little bit harsh – 90 other people in a room could smoke and be like, dude, what are you talking about? That's so smooth. I feel like we're, that just got smoother real quick. Try we're that. very, very picky on that standpoint. Yeah. Would you agree? Would you agree? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, because once it goes below nine, which is what we consider great, which is like, this is fucking smooth as shit. The eights, like 8.0 to 8.9, we consider good still. The solid. I would hit this in a sesh, like, not mad at it by any means. Once it drops below eight, that's into the decent category. We're not usually going to be hitting that. But good is still, I mean, we're splitting hair. All these operators are, like, growing some of the best fucking weed out or, you know, or at least a lot of people are saying that. So, pretty close, pretty close either way. I still got a, still bite, got a bite. It's a bite to me. <laughs> fucking you up right now. And you're usually iron lungs. Yeah, but that's got a bite yeah. to me, dude. That, there is and no it's like question. in the back of my throat. It's like that. Remember we talk about. It's the sharp feeling. Yeah. It's the sharp. It's not even hot to me. It's sharp. It's That's like right. I have this sharp feeling like right down here in the bottom of my throat when I hit it. Dude, this was uh, kind of how the first good pizza preferred gardens went back and forth. Instagram is still on. Should I get a free session? Yeah, I guess so. Should we turn this program off? I mean, we're not answering I've, any I've of their questions. I've been forgetting you guys are there sometimes. There's only 18 of them, dude. Right, no, let, them live. let them live. Yeah. Let them live. Um, so the question oh, I asked it, of course, the question is not which one is smoother because it's clearly the black leaves. No. And the question isn't which one is more flavorful now because it's clearly this. So the question is which one really like which outweighs the other, you know? So let's just do that. Hit them, hit them both. And I'm going to ask you the age old question. Like we were sitting on the couch on field crest. You ready? I don't like the flavor in the black leaf anymore at this point. We are about 65% of the way through. Okay. I don't like the flavor of that. It's very mineral to me. Now, I get a little – actually, the aftertaste, I could taste the turps more. But initially, I'm getting just a lot of mineral from it. Okay. Really debating in my head if the harshness I'm feeling is worth it. <laughs> flavor strength is still there. Still in the nines? I would say it's high eights now, but it's still there. Okay. I don't know if I'd put the flavor anymore in the high eights or even the mid eights, maybe low eights, high sevens on the black leaf at this point. Gotcha. This one's also clogged a little bit. Oh, like the, less. the Well, no, I already twisted it, but I'm saying the weed is so spongy. Gotcha. That it's kind of like. I can see it. It's sucking a little. The, it's sucking the well, The other one is burning a little bit faster, a little bit more freely. So, guys, I'm going to sit here like this real quick just to see if I can see if any oil got in or anything. That's why I've been holding this one up. I'm going to hold this one up. Give them both Towards the shot. end, we kind of break our rules about holding this straight down. It's a lot to – it's very long-winded to explain the whole situation through a whole doing. So, we just say point it down because you're 
pretty much best off doing that. But all that brown oil is oxidized fucking oil, and if it drips into the cherry, that's like dabbing reclaim off of a cherry. You it looks like I mean? a candlestick of just oil, and if that shit's dripping in, it will, it will affect your flavor in the and burn the, and, and the, the burn. Yeah, too. dramatically. It'll cause runs. Oil can fuck your shit up. <clears throat> I'm getting, it's got company. It's got company now. And then it's not just minerality. It's got some company. A little bit of smoke, a little the thing bit of is, though, I am still getting flavor out of it. Yeah, on the, on the, the after, like the exhale and the aftertaste is where I found some flavor. But I don't know. For me, and, and historically, the minerality has been way more like it bothers me probably more than it bothers you. So it's like maybe just like that planty shit. You know what I mean? How you're welcoming of a little bit of company where it freaks me out. Like, I think that's kind of what it is, is when I get it at all. That wins the flavor, hands down. All right, so now. <laughs> that's, not even, that, that's not even a question. So, so now here's the how flavor on that is still on point. So there's two ways this can play out. Either this becomes so harsh while that's still hittable that it wins by like a third round knockout. Or, or this becomes so disgustingly tasting that you're willing to go through the fucking hurt yes. to enjoy the flavor. So basically, we just need to keep smoking this to the very end and see what the fuck's up because it's kind of. We both got right shit now. to do after this too with our girls, so this is going to be hilarious because we both got hell of shit. grandmas, aunties. I got all that. Yeah, no, but, I'm in for it. Right uh, now. But yeah, we make eye contact with people. <laughs> um, so. This hasn't got to the point yet where I'm going to tap out on it type parse, but it's like knocking on the door. Right. It's like making me wonder if in the next hit or two I will, you know? I mean, that, dude, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, dude. It's just a little harsh, dude. And it's, it's, every time I hit it, I'm sure you guys can tell, every time I hit that, I cough. But it's funny because I can hit this and the I won't, flavor, though, I won't want to cough at all. The flavor did come back, but. On that? Yeah. What do you mean? It was never gone. It got a little bit of company. It was still oh, strong. You mean, you mean the company left? But I mean, it, it, they stepped out the room for a second. Okay, least. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. um, but like, I'm, I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta hit that one and look a little harder because I wasn't getting much flavor from it, bro. I think I'm saving it by holding it up. So we gave first round to LCZ. Second round, um, I'd say. I would say maybe just on smoothness, halfway Pretty through, I'd maybe give it a black leaf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude. Prism. Um, yep. So I would have given first round to Prism okay. and second round to Prism. And if we're in third round right now, right now. It's so you're, you're enjoying the smoothness more than the flavor attributes. Which is historically yeah. how it kind of goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm one to generally agree with that. I would probably though, because in the, the beginning flavor the flavor on was this so is good, so nuts. I would probably give first round. Damn, dude, I'd probably give first round uh, because I was willing to deal with that. For some reason, like certain type of harshness fucks you up that doesn't fuck me up, and certain type of harshness fucks me up that doesn't fuck you yeah. up too. So we're kind of covering all the spectrums there, but. I was willing to deal with it because the flavor was so heavy and mouth coating in the in the beginning. I was willing to deal with it. I'm getting a little more tender now, so it's getting less. Is it getting better though now? Holding it up like that and like keeping oil away from it, and letting the cherry cool. Like, I mean, is it helping at all? To me, it is, dude. Okay. I mean, here, but it was just fucking you up. But it's still got flavor right now. So let's see what's up with this. That fucking just drip. And a lot of that darkness is smoke stain. If we hit it with a torch for two seconds, it would be all. Yeah, dark. I'm not talking about the ash. Look at the the drip. That shit oh, is no. so <laughs> thick, dude. All right, let's see what's up with this black leaf because this is done right now. Then that could be a game changer. The mineral film is strong right now. Is it? It's not harsh yet. <laughs> Still not harsh. I mean, it's a little hot, you know, but I kind of got that halfway through also. This is a close one, dude. It's so not close, but in opposite categories, which makes it close. That hit was actually smoother, too. Right? 
You see that? Yeah, I think I think this one's almost done, if not done. <laughs> so here's the thing. Oh, it, that made me cough now because that was hot. It has the, it's like the minerals going strong. <laughs> it's going on your tongue. Yeah, and it's it's very hot. This is tough, bro. Because to be honest, I found myself reaching for the one with more flavor, knowing it was going to hurt me, but kind of like a fiend for it you know what i mean you might as yeah. well leave it on the ground yeah, at this point like shit, dude. <laughs> um so like i would i would have given the first round to uh that second round to black leaf but then right now as you just hit like to me it is getting smoother it's all right we're one for one now yeah it is getting smoother and the flavor is still there for me it's got a little bit of company but the flavor is still there whereas this is mineral for me how where fresh, I'm not trying how to fresh was the live sauce when you were rolling it up wasn't that fresh? Been nope. in my own a couple of weeks. I got it early too. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask for the uh, the dates. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit this again for R and D, but like I don't want to hit this again. That one makes me curious because it does like carry some flavor. It's just not as harsh anymore either, which is weird. Well, that wasn't even. Hold on. This, uh, that last hit I just took was actually kind of nice of the black leaf now. In terms of smoothness, the flavor's gone. It's straight mineral now, but it wasn't very, like, hot and comfortable. There's still flavor. All right, so it's like I scored it one way, you I'd, scored it the other way. But I'd give life so, sauce a decision victory at the end. So what I would say is, well, if you give the first two rounds – then and then you get the third round. Yeah, but they're close because you've been talking two 10 9 rounds and then a 10 8 round. But check this out it's a split decision on the scorecard, right? So now the thing is because you scored it two to one black leaf, mm -hmm. I scored it two to one life sauce. Uh -huh. So now it's just on which one would you reach for if we were going to roll another doink? Which one would you want to light up right now at this point of it? No, just like knowing the experience of the whole doink and you were going to roll, you only had to roll one more doink and you had to choose between one. That's that's kind of the decider that we say. I mean, in situations like this where it's really split, that's really the decider of it. Um, fuck. Well, first off, I'm lit and it's early. I shouldn't shouldn't be this high this early. Um, <laughs> second of all, lit. yeah, I'm keyed. I think I would have to roll the light sauce. Yeah, it's like the the the. I was gonna say the same thing and. For me, the reason is the smoothness is not the best, but it's bearable to deal with that flavor. It, like it's like hurt me so good. You know what I mean? I just keep coming back. But you would say life sauce too, then? Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. I would have to say a very close split decision victory, dude. Um, and this is the LCZ. Yeah, the LCZ life sauce and up the hill exclusive. Um, so damn, I'm lit. That was a very close one. Okay. We haven't had to use that rule yet. No, where we finally just get down to which one, you know? No, I think, and even the other close ones, there's been a clear cut winner at the end, but it's one of those things where, like I said, it's splitting hairs. Yeah. I mean, like, dude, and some people are going to make different decisions. Yeah. Straight up. So anyways, both great fire, battle. Both fire though in their own right. Yeah. A great battle. I would smoke either of them again, for sure. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we're gonna do a little fucking metal shavings test on the stash grinder. All right. So I'm going to wipe it out. Hey, do you have like a little fucking microfiber or something, Sean? All right. right on. So what this shit is, if you guys haven't seen it before, well, that'll focus. Yeah, you go back further, I think, closer to us. All right, well, you get the fucking idea. It's not going to focus, but... And it's kind of like a flour mill, but it has, like, little knobbies in between. Um, but there is... They say there's no metal shavings in here, but there is metal-to-metal -metal, uh, contact in the grind here. So... 
I'm going to wipe stuff out of there because there was metal shavings in it just when I got it. And I just wiped it out on my finger and it was like sparkling on my finger. But I don't know if that's just from the machining. So I'm trying to like make sure it's clean first. Which should have been done before it was sent to the consumer. Yeah, but metal working and shit. I don't know. You know getting better for the doubt. I'll pour those out. Basically a flour mill, but with little knobbies on it. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. It's like the but the thing. holes are bigger, which leads me to believe it's gonna give you a chunky grind. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Y'all get some beers and not that midwater. Damn, calling us out in the midwater again, dude. Not Shit. not uh definitely not gonna have yeah. a beer though. I got things to do. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go <laughs> have a fucking triple espresso right now. Try to open my eyes. Uh, 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 uh. Hold up to the camera and I'll focus. What, are we, what time is it right now? 12, 11? Oh, that was just now. Yeah, I got to get rocking. All right, so. Not seeing anything. So the naked eye, I see nothing in the upper the upper decky. Go down below. Top where the mama puts the fucking oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what though, dude? I'm on my I'm looking at my finger and it's sparkling like a motherfucker. Oh yep. <laughs> There's not a chance I could barely see it on my fucking. Uh, here, let me see your phone. I'm gonna try to get a video of it like on your phone. Told me to leave it there. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, but then also to be fair, I have a little bit of weed on my hand right now. But... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. You know what? What? There is another time that I dropped the tip and I actually lost one. I got called out right now. When I picked my phone up, I got called out, dude. I got <laughs> called out. There is a time, one other time that I dropped a tip, and it resulted in losing a tip. Um, damn, I fucking forgot Ryan, about bro. that, dude. Let the people know. Dude, I'm clean. Can't get into all that, but it, okay. it happened. It happened. I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> it, happened, oh, it, ha shit. it happened recently. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll see if I can summarize it in a secretive way for you guys when the time comes. Let me see your camera real quick. Uh, yeah. I need to film this because there's there's a lot of sparkle on the fingers right now. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, good. Uh, let's turn that on and let's go to interesting. 60. Zoom three times here. I got you on max zoom. All right, well, hold on. Let me get it fucking normal first. Um, what the fuck's going on here, dude? Will not focus. Called me out, dude. Who, <laughs> who called you out? <laughs> Can't even. There's a dude. shard right there. A shard, he said. Yeah, straight metal shard, dude. I mean, look. Did you wash the grinder before you doing this? I did not wash the grinder, but I wiped it out. You should wash the grinder. Um, yeah, but like, hold on, though. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? Where's here? the instructions, though, to say to wash the grinder out first? Like, I mean, you know, what I mean, if how I many people, grinder, how many people pick it up and buy it and go in their car and but fucking fair, roll one up? The places that I wiped my finger on, I did it after I wiped it with a microfiber. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, you know, you didn't give it a full bath. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll roll one up soon, and just to see the consistency. Yeah. And honestly, metal like you're not going to be smoking metal because it's like a cherry gets a fifteen hundred percent. I mean, uh, degrees Degree, Fahrenheit, yeah. <laughs> and uh, like max is out there, and metal to off gas or stainless steel at least to off gas has to reach like fifty five hundred degrees or something. So yeah, um, also. This doesn't feel like stainless steel. It's like probably aluminum or something. So we'll, we'll check out the temperatures on aluminum. But yeah. anyways, for now. All right, guys. Life sauce. Congrats. Yep. Fucking on to Wizard Trees next, I believe. Yep. So it'll be interesting. But now we have finished off, I'm pretty sure, the fucking first rounds of the Wreck Bracket. Yeah. So Monday we're going to be back for the first rounds of the Small Batch. Yeah. So what we got... 
<coughs> is <coughs> where's the scissors? I was gonna try to rip it, but not today, dude. It's already open, isn't it? I don't think so. Oh, right. yeah, and that's where I was working right there. No, hold on. It's open somewhere. I know it is because there's air in it. See? Uh, I'm like, there's no way. So this is... It's insane small batch, dude. I haven't smelled it yet. It smells interesting. Yeah. I guess. It doesn't. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't smell very it's good. Black, hey, yeah, it's black. How does it smoke, bro? Is yeah. the question. Uh, let's see. What else SD cookie. Got? Uh, yeah, yeah. SD cookie jar, dude. So, this one has had some fan support behind it for sure. Yeah. It smells pretty fucking amazing. It's like just creamy ass gas. What is that? What strain is that? Does it say? Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. Does it say it's genetics or anything? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll let you guys know what Dunkaroos is. Yep. Does anybody know? You gotta scroll down to the bottom. This is the bottom. Okay, yeah, cool. there. Down. Right on, Star Dog. Yep. All right. Have well, day. that's it. Uh, that's the only new, two new things getting cash tree tonight. We're giving us. We'll put the nose on it Monday. Yep. We won't smell it beforehand. Um. Uh, yeah. Peace. Congrats, Life Sauce. See yep. you guys uh, tomorrow. No, no, no. See no, you guys Monday. 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 We're taking the holy day off. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> peace.